Five tips, building rovers. Number one, starting point. Building your rover, your first decision should be spaceship hangar or vehicle assembly building. Each facility has much to offer. In the spaceship hangar, you can build from a central piece and attach more than one copy in symmetry mode. In the spaceship hangar, you can use mirrored symmetry, which can be more ideal. Take care selecting your starting part and how it might be attached to a launch vehicle. Never be shy constructing a rover and then moving it to a different position on your spacecraft. Number two, wheelbase and track. It's almost always in your best interest to build half of the rover first and then reattach it in symmetry mode. Wheelbase is the distance between the rear and front wheels and track the width of your suspension. A longer wheelbase can aid in speed, while a wider track is ideal for stability. It's always important to consider your rover's wheelbase to track ratio. Rovers designed for low gravity benefit from multiple wheels and a long wheelbase, SAS and RCS. Don't forget a Kerbal to repair tires. Number three, low center of mass. When constructing your rover, it's important to consider the center of mass. Keeping the center of mass level or below your axles can help avoid flipping. Number four, test suspension. For testing rovers, use the train tracks near the vehicle assembly building. Ramming the tracks at top speed and maneuvering back and forth across them will show you your rover's shortcomings. Any decent rover should be able to climb the incline at the beginning of the railroad tracks. Number five, delivery. From the beginning of construction, keep in mind how your rover will be delivered to the surface. Mounted beneath or on top of a propulsion system, delivered with another vehicle, atop a delivery platform, or perhaps its own propulsion. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for five tips performing rendezvous.